How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you today about a penny stock that I think might blow up and I could be I could be wrong on this. This is probably the one of the more high one of the most high risk stocks I've ever talked about. I consider not even talking about it because it's at an eleven million dollar market cap. But I want to cover it. I I don't know where I'm posting this yet, whether it's my first channel, my second channel, or what, but it's called Creative Medical Technologies Holdings. And again, this is a biotech company that is very risky. Uh, I, I have not done an extensive amount of research into this company overall because I realize that it's going to be high risk. It's going to be very risky, but they had news that came out. So I want to cover this and I'm not even using a face cam or anything like that because I want to cover this faster and be able to get it out to you guys possibly right when the market opens or maybe before because this trades on the OTC market. It's under the ticker CELZ and they had a really big piece of information come out on them this morning. Again, you could lose your entire investment in this. I might throw in a little bit of money though, just to see if I can get you know a couple hundred percent return or something like that. Uh, but for me, the risk is not worth the reward at a large scale, but at a small scale, I'm okay with it. So again, I'll hit on that in a second. If you guys wanna support the channel, you can hit the like button. If you wanna hit subscribe, you can definitely do that. We were correct on a stock BNGO just a few days ago, still riding up right now. We could be wrong on this one though. So again, you know, I'm not a financial advisor or stock analyst. Do your research on this. Uh, if you guys want though, you can sign up for Weeble. There's a link down below. You can get four free stocks. This is the last day if you deposit $100. And you can check out the Patreon to get this information a little bit earlier. So this one is CELZ. It traded off yesterday 36%. It is literally under a $2 penny stock right now. It trades on the OTC market, so a lot of brokers don't even carry it. But there was some news that came out, and it says Creative Medical Technology Holdings announces patent filing based on preclinical data and model of heart attack using M cells regenerative immunotherapy. So I'm not even going to edit this thing. I want to put this up to you guys, but they announced today, this morning, like an hour ago from when I'm recording this, announced a positive preclinical data using their new uh, their new drug and a treatment of a model of a heart attack. So they have several different several different medicines now and several different treatments. But uh, this it looks like uh, they say the role of the immune system in numerous aspects of regenerative regenerative medicine cannot be overstated says dr amit patel board member of the company and co-investor of the patent the data described today while preliminary supports the belief that m cells which is a regenerative immunotherapy can be applied across a broad range of conditions so again they they go into background on the company a little bit more but this is highly speculative, highly speculative, highly speculative. Uh, it is risky. I was just looking at their website. Uh, some of it's a little bit outdated, but they do have other drugs. They do have other things uh, that they provide. So you can see kind of what they do here. But again, take this with what you will. Might be a big, uh, might continue to sell off. I mean, we saw a couple really down days here where it went down 35%. Uh, but it was also going up a massive amount too. So it went from uh, a company that was half of a penny. It's gone up 400%. So this was just a few million dollar company. It's probably uh, at risk of maybe being taken off because it is so low. Um, so, you know, again, if you're, if you're going to buy into it, I would say this is probably a short-term play. Unlike BNGO, which is the other one that that we've talked about recently that's in a similar space. Uh, BNGO, I feel like, actually has a lot of potential. This other company is just so risky that I would not want to hold on to it long term. I mean, we're talking about a company that is literally 30 times smaller than BNGO, and a lot of people think that that's too risky. So uh, hopefully you guys find this useful. If you guys want to get in on this information a little bit earlier, you can check out the link down below to our Patreon uh, again, 
I, I'm stressing this so much because it is very risky. I thought about maybe not even telling you about this because it is a small cap stock too. It is a very small cap stock. So I was cautious about making a video on it in general because I don't want to push the price or influence it. But it is something that I think could move up a lot on this news. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.